All right, while I'm thinking about how to connect my brand new pontoons, I may as well put them in place. Let's see what that's gonna entail. During high tide, this fills with water, and I was thinking I could just kind of float this through here. But, I don't know, maybe I'll see how easy it is to drag right now. Oh, basically I wanna get this and that here and then under the drawbridge and stand them up right here. Well, might as well put the camera on just in case. I don't know what's gonna happen here. so hard. One thing I don't want to do is drag it across the mud just in case there's a rock somewhere and then you know I'll save some time by dragging it through fast but it's going to take a lot more time getting that big scratch out. So I'll just keep tires on it and drag it over. It'll be done in like 10 minutes probably. You know what? I don't think there's any rocks in here at all. Because this is like a couple inches of uh, all new sediment. So there should. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing gonna scratch it. So I'm just gonna put this right in the box and drag it across. Besides, I've, I've run across this with so much sandpaper, it's not really that easy to scratch. Well, it's relatively easy to move now, and now I've got this in the way. My first boat. Hmm. 
I've learned a lot about fiberglass and from this boat, but I did not do the best job on this boat. And when it was when I was well, when it was parked at the dock where we were before, it was more of a wavy zone, and this was getting smacked up against the dock for I don't know months. Anyway, eventually it got some little cracks along here, and water got in, and now the pontoons have water in them. And, uh, and you know, I've thought about repairing it, but I could build something so much better now, so. <sighs> right now I just need it out of the way. And the reason I'm thinking about all this stuff is, do I want to basically pull it apart to move it? Because that's, I have a feeling that's what's going to happen if I go lift up the middle of the boat. I think the pontoons are going to rip off because they're too heavy because they're full of water. <sighs> Let me think about this for a minute. Well, if I were to rebuild this, I would probably build new pontoons and use the top part. Because the top part's all good. I made that after I, you know, kind of figured out the fiberglass a little. But the pontoons were like the first fiberglass thing I did almost ever. Eventually I'm going to dig all this out and put sand here. And it's going to be really nice. But yeah, right now it's kind of half dug out and half muck. Whatever though. strong. That is very heavy. Alright, I just powered up my strongs and pulled it most of the way off. So it looks like the whole top part is intact. Yeah. And I can totally use that in future things, maybe. Nice bamboo. Pretty close to where I want this thing. Now I just need to stand it up. So I tied one of those pieces of bamboo to the top. And I'm hoping to straighten it out. I can stand it up. Unless this piece of bamboo breaks, in which case. Oh, good. <laughs> Look at that. It's lined up perfectly. Went right into the branch. Or the branch went right, in, right into the bamboo. And that's kind of nice. This stick here will keep the thing from tipping over that way. And it can rub against there. That's no problem. Even if it made a hole, which it won't. It's easy to fix anything above the water line. I just have to really make sure I don't, you know, damage anything below the water line. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Shoving that thing into the water. Oh, that's going to be good. Ah, seriously, though, I think I need to shove myself into the water first. Oh, it's mighty hot today. Okay, don't move. And you don't move either, unless you want to come down here and not get damaged. That'd be cool. Oh, shoo. 
yes, I will have to move the giant houseboat out of the way to get the sucker through. But that's okay. It's pretty easy to move by hand when it's floating. <laughs>